The Junior World Championship is well known for forging player partnerships at a young age, but England's Jack Nowell and Luke Cowan Dickey have long since established a relationship on and off the field. I met Jack at about four or five, um, back in Penzance's Million and Junior section. He hasn't really changed much. He had longish hair and he's just a poser really. <laughs> He used to come up in all the gear, so mittens and, and scrum cap, he always used to have the best boots going. Um, and yeah, he has, it hasn't really changed much at all. We've both been from the same area. I'm from a new place called Newlin, he's just up the road at Haymore, literally a mile apart from each other. I remember the first time, we were, our first ever training session, I think it was about under, under fives, under sixes, just down on the park, messing around with our coach and stuff. And then I remember Luke turning up once, and none of us had a clue who he was, and uh, he just turned up with his top button all done up. It was long sleeve top on and we were just thinking, oh, who's, who's this guy coming down now? All of us just taking the mick out of him at the start, but then uh, I think we actually then all soon realised when we saw his first game, especially when we were first playing contact, like, who this guy was. When we was back in the old days, he used to uh, run back before he ran forward, so he would, he would try and get away from everyone and then try and run around. Uh, now he's, as you've seen last game, the guy just carries and, and carries straight leg driving contact and, and his footwork before. Um, is, is really good, that's, that's his main, main key points and also, also his defence, his, his tackling, he does like a good tackle. <laughs> no, no, I'd rather, I'd rather run away from people, but no, that's just, just one route I've got to take sometimes and you've got to do it. There's the man originally from Truro, Luke Cowan-Dickey. Here goes Cowan-Dickey, loves the ball in hand. I don't know everything about Luke, Luke knows everything about me. I think he's probably one of the best players I've probably ever played with. Just, just the, the man's possessed when he's out on the pitch, just the way he carries with the ball. Uh, obviously, uh, I think when we were younger, he always used to be an eight, and he always used to be one of the best carrying eights. And then, uh, obviously, as we got a bit older, he got a bit bigger, he's moved into the prop position. Um, obviously, now moving into a hooker now. But no, it's just still, it hasn't affected his game. He's still carrying, carrying hard, playing hard, and yeah, he's just a really good player. It is good to have someone so close that like you've been playing with pretty much as soon as you started playing. Um, in the same team as you. But against South Africa in round two at the JWC, things didn't quite go to plan as they took on the current world champions. And old, it's been stolen. Really the first 20 minutes sort of let us down. I think all the boys were really eager to play the game and, and we was all really up for the game and, and we sort of showed that by trying to fire every single ruck, trying to steal the ball and we just give away stupid penalties. White. Four off your feet. They just came out the blocks a bit sooner than us. I think it was probably down to our discipline at the start. Obviously, we let down a few penalties. Just didn't really get a chance to get into that game. And England get the try. They really are coming back into this match. Full credit to the boys. We managed to get the bonus point, and, and the second half sort of showed what, what sort of team we are. I think we were just a bit unlucky to, to not sneak maybe a, a better result. Against USA, we've just got to go in there and win. I think we've got to take all our positives out of the South Africa game because there are a lot that we, we did produce up there. And um, yeah, we've just got to go win, just got to get as many points as we can. And again, at most top, we've got to enjoy it. We just need to just play our own rugby again. Hopefully, it'll be a high scoring game. We obviously really, really need the five points to hopefully be able to make it through to the semi final. There is still one burning question left to answer, though, and it all has to do with the image of these two Cornish compatriots. My hair is a lot better than his hair. He's got a third of a mullet, if that, and I've got a full mullet. Luke's hair is pretty bad. <laughs> the shaved sides and, and all this stuff going on in the back, I just don't know how he does it. Some of the looks I've seen people give him when we were walking past. I think last time we were just walking along the front here and about four people looked at him like in a strange way. <laughs> but I think he loves it. <laughs> he does think he looks good with his little rat tail hanging out the side. He, you know, he thinks he's a bit better than a mullet, but yeah, it doesn't touch it. <laughs>